Hi and welcome to Enchanted Sparkle Crafts. Today I'm going to be showing you how I'm making the Ziggy Pinch bow from the June Eliza Henry Crafts bow box. It does say here that the middle of the bow needs to have been slightly wider so once the die is produced it will be much thicker in the middle to be able to get a better pinch but still creating the same beautiful shape. Now the pinch is something I've struggled on with the bow so I'm glad that they are changing up a bit. So I am using a transparent fabric and I'm going to show you how I hand cut transparent fabrics. So we need masking tape. This is for the main bow of the Eliza Henry Ziggy bow. Just going to draw around this here. By using the masking tape, you're not drawing straight onto the fabric, so you don't have to worry about leaving pen marks. That's that one there, look. I'm going to put around here. Shit, we can take our masking tape off. I'm going to do the tails in this one again from the Eliza Henry June Bow Box. Again, if you wanted to avoid the pen marks on the back, you could use masking tape. Definitely one of the tails that you would want to have a die with if possible. I'm going to cut the around so I can uh, get the glitter out of the way.
sand strip on these is really shiny. Um, fine glitter from again the June Blur Pop. I'm going to start with my glue gun. I'm going to do a pinch with this one with the tails. Find your centre point by folding in half. And if you fold that up, get the glue in there. Put a little bit more in. See my glue can get itself worked and it's filthy. I'm going to put a clip in the middle to hold it in place while it dries and I sort out the other bit. For the transparent fabric, the hot glue isn't going to hold this and it's just going to make a bit of a sticky mess. I've tried and failed already with it. So I'm going to use a needle and thread and I'm going to sew it and I'm going to try and create the pinch with the needle and thread too because it's a little bit narrow for this kind of fabric to get that pinch in. And we really need a good pinch to be able to get the bow to look right. Be a lot easier to create the pinch with a different kind of fabric like um, I think a fine glitter would be easy to pinch. So just gonna get a few stitches in just to hold it in place. Gorilla glue, um, the gel gorilla glue, gorilla glue works quite well with these transparent fabrics too. But with this being a pinch bow, I need to try and create a pinch, which is really quite difficult to do with this kind of fabric. I'm just going to keep winding it round and pulling it tight, and hopefully, it will create that pinch that we need. You can see it's tightening up in the middle already. This definitely isn't going to be the best pinch I'm going to get, but it's a really tricky bow to work with with this transparent fabric. So I'm hoping that's going to be enough of a pinch for it to work. along the top. I'm just going to hold this for a couple of uh, moments until the glue catches on. for a moment. 
пошли. As you can see it's really tricky to do to get the pin shape with the transparent fabrics it's not as tricky with other fabrics i'm sure but it's just because it's quite stiff but using the needle and thread that's one method to make it a little bit easier so there is the finished bow there thank you for watching